Okay, came out to Indian demo days and I ended up bitten on a neon vest and being one of the, the ride captains, so that'll be fun. Uh, only request I got was to go out on a dark horse. So, taking out a chief dark horse for this first ride. Make sure my mirrors are adjusted. I'm going to be the last bike. So. Okay, so I saw the, showed you the push button ignition, single, well, push button on off, single touch ignish, uh, ignition on the bike. It's one of the things that's pretty standard with the Indians. Uh, Self-canceling turn signals that are all on the left control pod. And horn, low beams, high beams, cutoff switch, hazards, cruise controls over here. It's all easily accessible by your thumb. And let's go for a ride. One of the things I like about the, the bigger bikes that aren't necessarily full touring bikes is they're real easy. No, I'll go through the stop sign, dude. All right. So our lead rider up there, he rides a scout and he's taken out of Springfield. And then the actual guys who are demoing, they're on Roadmasters. I gotta catch up. But these bikes are very smooth, uh, got a lot of power, easy smooth shifting, uh, standard with floorboards, um, Thunderstroke 111 engine, 111 uh, cubic inch. There we are, now we're getting into our stagger. Yeah, this 2016 Roadmaster next to me has got a stage one upgrade and six shooter exhaust tips that are the Indian exhaust. That's why it has the sound it's got. All right, what else can I tell you about this one? Um, Chief Dark Horse is a one-up cruiser. It does not uh, have a passenger seat standard or passenger peg standard. It is, however, uh, standard with cruise control and ABS.
gear indicator on the uh, dash. And I was on the freeway in fourth gear. Got up to six right in time for the guy in front of me to slow down. All the semi traffic can't even get out of fourth gear. Ugh. things about the Indian uh, Thunderstrokes, they got a really nice deep sound even when they're stuck. And this bike has the stock pipes on it. There's high gear. 2,000 RPM in sixth gear doing 55 miles an hour right now, so that'll give you an idea of where this guy revs. Very smooth ride, plenty of power, it's a good size for someone of my frame. No windshield, so you get you do get some wind uh, on there. I would prefer uh, higher bars, like the, the ape hangers that are available for it. Uh, this demo is actually the dealerships motorcycles this is not Indians demo truck um, but the same company owns the Harley dealership next door and they had the Harley demo truck a couple of weeks ago and since they couldn't get the the Polaris demo truck out around the same time they just said forget it we'll just do our own and they've got a uh, Pearl White uh, Chief Classic sitting in the dealership showroom with ape hangers that I was kind of hoping that they'd have out here for this. Um, but anyway, uh, back to the Dark Horse. 
kind of went over all the equipment on it. The floorboards are standard. Um, I do feel like I'm a little further forward than I would like, but let's see if I can just adjust that. It's a nice squishy seat. Alright, I got the lane for you, dude. Yeah, man, all I can do is get up to fourth in these speeds because the, of the way that the engine's geared. And I mean, to, to get up above 2,000 RPM, you gotta, you know, you gotta be at freeway speed in sixth gear. <laughs> now, this dark horse is the only one in the chief and up lineup that they have uh, out for these demo days that does not have saddlebags. The scouts actually need the key uh, to turn on the ignition. So this bike has the keys zip tied to the mirror. The fob has to be in proximity to the bike to be able to turn it on. So, and rather than have this uh, have that key fob go in between different riders pockets throughout the day they zip tied it to the mirror this dark horse is one of the new uh, motorcycles that's out here for the demo day some of the some of the bikes that the dealer has out are used like this 2016 roadmaster that's next to me uh, but this does sit on the showroom floor on a normal day. When we were out here last weekend, that's where it was. Oh, and there's a scout behind us. wind doesn't give me much of a chance to get the lane for him <laughs> One of the things about these 111s is they have really good engine braking. In second gear you hardly even need much brake. things I like about the floorboards is you know I just want to get a more comfortable position with your foot you can especially the these these Indians have really big floorboards nice sized floorboards not as big as a victory floorboard but what is as big as a victory floorboard uh, all right so back into the dealership we go
He's going to pull in behind the other Roadmaster, so I'm going to pull in behind the Springfield. And there we go.